I'd like to speak to a guest. Mrs. Beatty in room 514. Thank you. Hello. Hello, Mrs. Beatty. This is Cheryl from Top Notch. How's Los Angeles? Well, the hotel isn't very nice, dear. I'm sorry to hear that. Are you okay? You sound tired. My room is on the fifth floor. I had to walk up with my luggage. There's no bellman? No elevator? No. And I wanted a non-smoking room with a king-sized bed. And I requested that for you. Well, they gave me a smoking room with a twin-sized bed. It's all they have. I'd better check your reservation. What hotel are you at? The Candle Inn, I think. And another thing. They didn't make up the room. The towels are dirty. Did you call housekeeping? They're not answering. And there are all these students everywhere. I thought you said that movie stars stay at this hotel. Mrs. Beatty, your reservation is for the Chandler Inn. You're in the wrong hotel. The Chandler Inn is a much nicer hotel. Oh. Well, I'd better call a taxi. How will you get your bags to the front desk? I'm sure I can find a student to help. I'll say I'm a movie star. I'll be fine. Okay. Good luck. Goodbye. Hello? Paul, what's happened to you? I had an accident with the van. Oh no, are you okay? I'm fine. I was wearing my seatbelt. No one was hurt, but I think we're gonna need a new van. Well, what happened? I was driving on 6th Street, and there were a lot of fish on the road. A lot of what? Fish. <laughs> Why were there fish in the road? I don't know. Anyway, I tried to turn, but I had a problem with the steering wheel. The steering wheel broke? No. It came off. <laughs> so I drove over the fish. The fish made the road slippery, so I tried to stop. I hit a parked car. Oh, no. I'm not finished. The car behind me was tailgating, so he hit me. A car on the opposite side of the road hit a stop sign. The stop sign fell and smashed my hood. Oh, no. Then, worst of all, when I got out to look at the damage, a piano fell on the van. <laughs> what? Where did it come from? I don't know, but the van does not look good. The bumpers are damaged, so is the hood, the doors won't open, the windows won't close, the engine's not working, the, the headlights are smashed, the horn won't honk, and it smells like fish. <laughs> are there any parts that are okay? The steering wheel still looks good. <laughs> Great. All we need is a van to go with it. <laughs> We're going to need a van this afternoon. You're taking the tourists from Chile to the museum. I'll call the rental company. Are you hungry? Yeah. Want some of my fish sandwich? <laughs> oh, sorry. Guess not. <laughs> Hi. Is this auto rent? I need a rental car. A van. Do you rent vans? That's great. We'll need to pick it up right away. We'll probably need it for two weeks. Could we return it on the 15th of the month? Great. Four-wheel drive. I could take the group from France to the mountains. Do you have any four-wheel drive vans? They don't have four-wheel drive vans. 
How about a luxury van with DVD player and stereo? Do you have any luxury vans with DVD and stereo? Stereo, yes. DVD, no. How about a convertible van? <laughs> yes, the... Do you have any convertible vans? <laughs> what color do you want? Blue. No. Red. No. Green. White will be fine. <laughs> insurance? Yes, we'd like insurance. Lots and lots of insurance, please. Cheryl, your hair looks gorgeous. Thank you. I have a new shampoo. Bright and clean. I'd like to try it. Did you find it at the drugstore? No, I bought it at my salon on Friday. I'll pick some up for you next time I'm there. Great, thanks. Would you like some too, Bob? I have shampoo, thanks. But mine will make your hair softer and cleaner smelling. Um, thanks, but no thanks. Come on, Bob. Don't you care about how you look? Of course I do. I shampoo, shower, and shave every day. That's all? Is there more to do? Don't you use any skin care products? Body lotion or skin cream? No. Should I? If you want your skin to stay young and healthy. Do you use any conditioner? That's for women. Lots of men use it too. Really? Sure. Women like men who take care of their appearance. Really? Okay. Uh, well, what else should I do? You don't want me to wear makeup, do you? <laughs> Lipstick, mascara, eyeshadow? No. But how about a manicure? <laughs> I'm serious. Look at your nails. They're a mess. Men get manicures? Many do, yes. We can give you one right here. Really? Piece of cake. Well... Okay. Great. <laughs> then we can talk about your haircut, facial, and facelift. <laughs> What? <laughs> what is this stuff on my face? It makes your skin soft and smooth. It tastes terrible. Oh. Sorry. I can't believe you cut my hair. And what'd you put in it? Some hairspray. Hairspray? Not much. You'll like it. There. Wow! My nails look great. Could I get a pedicure too? <laughs> No! My hair looks great, too. See what a little personal care can do. Wow! Thank you so much. You know, it's customary to tip the person who gives you a haircut. How do I look? Good. You look really, really good. You look amazing. Then let's get pizza. My treat. Great! <laughs> you can never tell anyone about this. Especially the facial. Deal. Now when can I get an appointment for another manicure? <laughs> oh. I think everything's ready. Why don't we sit down? This smells so wonderful. What are we having to eat? There's roast chicken, baked potatoes, salad, broccoli with garlic, red cabbage, and rice. Help yourself, everyone. Wow. 
That's a lot of vegetables. Vegetables are very healthy for you. Mr. Evans, would you like some chicken? Just a little, thank you. I'm not a big chicken eater. How about some potatoes? I'm sorry. I'm avoiding potatoes. <laughs> some broccoli? I'll pass. I'm afraid it doesn't agree with me. Cabbage. Sorry. I I'm allergic. <laughs> Mr. Evans, I'm so sorry. There's very little here for you to eat. I'm crazy about rice. <laughs> well, then, pass the rice, please. Cheryl, this tastes so delicious. Bob, you're not eating very much tonight. Don't you like the food? Bob's on a diet. I'm trying to lose weight. Good for you, Bob. I'm on a diet, too. <laughs> Why are you on a diet? You're so skinny. I'm trying to gain weight. <laughs> I can't stand it. Bob! 